Good morning. Okay, so um, here making my smoothie, and I stopped midway. One, because someone came by, and two, because I wanted to show you, or not even show you. I don't want to show you anything because you probably already know this, but I always add chia seeds to my smoothies, and I did it primarily because I know chia seeds, just like flax seeds, have omegas in them, right? So then I was like, wait a minute. What kind of omegas do chia seeds have? You know, they have good omegas that are beneficial for your body. So I just looked it up, and chia seeds have omegas 3 and a little bit of omega-6 in them. The majority is omega-3s. And then um, flaxseed, they're, the majority of their um, chia seeds, I'm adding hemp hearts to. <laughs> the majority of um, omegas that hemp hearts have, not hemp hearts, flax seeds, is omegas-3. So all this time I've been using, you're gonna watch me make my smoothie by the way. I add all kind of extra stuff. I already added my favorite protein powder, vegan, complete by Juice Plus. This is what I've been using for 11 years, me and my kids and my whole family. Now I add in an extra, for it to be extra chocolatey, and this is like really beneficial too, cacao powder. But let me stay on, let me stay on topic. So the omegas, omega-3s are in chia seeds and in flax seeds, and you get a little bit of omega-6 in chia seeds too. So I always use them because I was like, I know I don't eat enough um, foods that contain omegas. <clears throat> and then, I'm adding more milk. Um, but then, like five years ago, I started taking this plant-based omega blend by Juice Plus. And I've been using it now maybe four years. And I had no idea about this before taking these, but it has omegas 3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. This is plant-based omega, so they don't go to the fish <laughs> to get the omegas, which is I grew up taking fish oil. I don't know about you, but my mom used to really, I mean, she was looking out for our health, but geez, I thought it was torture when we had to stand up, line up, and take a spoonful of cod liver oil. Oh my gosh, I swear, I, I'm traumatized by that because it tastes so bad. And you know you're burping up the fishy burps. But um, this avoids the fish. They go to what fish eat to get the omegas, which is the plant algae. Interesting, right? So not only did they do that, they went to other plant sources that have a wide variety of omegas that our bodies desperately need. So I don't know if you guys know this, but like, um, you know how most people are deficient in vitamin D? <clears throat> the same goes for deficiencies in omegas. Most people are deficient. Look, I got my, you can't even tell. I have frozen banana in here and frozen pineapple. I didn't put any veggies in this time. It's all good. I get my veggies in later. But um, most people are deficient in omegas because our foods today are just so different. Like, you know, back in the day, people were eating a lot more fish. Now people have more of an aversion to eating fish. But you, certain fish have the omegas, like the um, salmon and um, other things, and best wild caught if you're doing salmon and stuff. So, just want to say, if you're looking for a really good um, source of omegas, which you should be, hey Tammy, how are you? You should be looking for a good source of omegas because, let me tell you, over 90% of us are deficient in omegas in our body. Then, let me know because I can help you out. One of the things I noticed with this, and everyone's different, you never know. Say hi, Vernon, you're on camera. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> One of the things that um, happened for me when I started using that, and I didn't expect to see anything really happen just from taking omegas, is that my vision improved, which is crazy, because everyone was telling me that when I hit my 40s, my vision was gonna get worse, and I started taking it, I think I might have been around 40 when I first started taking it, 40 or 41. And every time I went back to the optometrist, because I wear contacts, my vision was getting better and better. And I was like, what? So I have been taking Juice Plus for 11 years, but when I added that in and my vision started improving, I knew that had to have been why, because what else could it have been? So anyway, omegas are really good for your eyes for the health of your eyes. It's good for um, 
your joints. It's good for your heart. It is good for your brain because guess what? Your brain is made up mostly of fat. So you need to be eating healthy fat. So when people are on low fat diets, that's not good. Your brain needs fat to function well. So just wanted to jump on here and talk about that. Since I was adding chia seeds into my um, smoothie, I was like, let me talk about this. And let me tell you what has really changed, like change what I do with omegas. So I'm getting omegas still in my chia seeds, but this is where I get all my omegas right here. Five, it's a full spectrum. I never even heard of full spectrum omegas. I just always knew that we needed to get omegas six, right? But you get a full spectrum. Your body needs it. If you want to learn more, hey, Tiffany, hope you're enjoying your summer vacation. You deserve it. All teachers deserve summer vacation. I know it's a lot. So anyway, just jumped on to tell you guys that. Give a little bit of information of things I've learned. And um, yeah, that's it. All right. Have a good Monday. Bye, guys.